watching you. Tired of life or something? You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. Grey boy, calm down. Honor in the fatherland. Your kind spreads disease, defeatism, and desertion. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Long live, etc., etc. I feel like puking after that swill in the canteen. You'll choke to death on three pounds of steel. Watch your step. Need a pass? We're from Novigrad, eight generations and more. The war course is in Vizima, business, you know. No pass, no passage. Please have mercy. Don't turn us back to Velen. You don't know what it's like there. And you don't seem to know what it's like when a soldier disobeys orders. I'm telling you for the last time. No pass, no passage. the way. 
way. No! Son of your misborn clod. <laughs> Keep that up and I'll crack your skull open. Fuck. Halt! No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's in order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. Who ordered the city gates closed? Word is the king himself. Doesn't want paupers and refugees pissing all over his beautiful city. Apart from which, when folk can go hither and thither, always a chance some spy will slink through. This way, spies got it harder. So, no pass, no passage. What kind of pass are we talking about? Well, a normal one. A transit pass. Who issues them? How should I know? I'm a lowly soldier. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm-hmm. Uh, missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. It happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through. Any news from the Zima? The Witcher, get out of Rivia. War, don't touch them. Rindania. Your kind spreads disease, defeatism and desertion. Long live Exit. Into this watch, and put me in for a transfer. Calm down, Pierre. They're just witches. Maybe. But they scream like you and me. Great boy. Calm down. Long live Radovid! God. 
Resolve matters quickly and leave. Good day, or as we say back home, prosperous dealings. Right here. Time I went back to see. So end of life. Men visit you too, collecting protection coin. Only wolves are still up to be someone found the courage. Just after they'd taken his third favor, and once he'd spilled where he kept his gold, they cut off the rest. Honor in the fatherland. To death Drained on three to pounds of drop. steam. Not an ounce of blood left. Skin. Master, skates not safe no more. Ah, you got nothing to fear. Everyone to me! To me!
baptize. Mark of the devil. Appalling manners. for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. looking for me and who might you be my father sent you yeah to see if you're still alive and well I'm Geralt of Rivia I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well Geralt of Rivia better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine and now that you've seen me I bid you farewell wait we've nothing more to talk about your father's a vile man you're angry and bitter can't blame you why do you help him then? Why did you take this job? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. A bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally, we'd had enough, Mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands and that a monster dragged her into the woods. That true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that, that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever, she was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her gut than bear another child from his seed. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Hence the candlesticks in your room. So you believe in the eternal fire. Once the heat of the fire has set your heart aflame, it gives you strength and leads you down the path of truth for the rest of your life. I hope it'll bless you with its warmth one day. Thanks. Thing is, fire is tricky. It's easy to get burned. 
What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life. Forgotten it already. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the Bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Hope you know what you're getting into. I've never been more certain. The eternal fire is the best thing that could happen to me. In that case, good luck. Thank you for respecting my choice. Farewell.